Hello, I'm Dr. Len Saputa here with my old friend Raymond Francis. Raymond, it's great to have you back on the show. Um, good to be back with you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Raymond, just for those of you that don't know him, is an MIT-trained scientist who lectures all over the world and is the author of four best-selling books, the last of which is Never Feel Old Again. And in this book, he talks about why aging is a mistake. What do you mean by that, Raymond? Well, what I mean is we all age. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, people say, well, well, how can aging be a mistake? We all age. Even the sun is aging. True. But, but here's the key. You see, what we consider as aging today, the loss of function, the disabilities, mm. the so-called diseases of aging, such as Alzheimer's and osteoporosis mm. and, and um, I, I throw, you know. The and, hip and, fractures and, and the hip disability. Hip fractures, all that, you know. The quality of life. The quality of life. That's what we consider to be aging. That's wrong. That's a mistake. And we don't have to do that. Well, we have an epidemic of chronic diseases. So what can we do about changing that? Well, real simple. I, I wrote a whole book on it. Uh, the book is called Never Feel Old Again. Um, and what it's about, you see what aging is? Aging is repair deficits. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can go, you can go to a, a car show. You can see a car that's 100 years old, looks brand new, right. runs like new. You can go out on the street and, and you can see a car that's 10 years old. And it's ready for the junkyard. Right. So what's the difference between the two? Mm. Maintenance. And it's no different with, with a human being. See, the, the, here's the secret, folks. We are self-repairing systems. Now, your car is not self-repairing. But we are self-repairing systems. And so if you keep yourself in good repair, then you're not going to get old. It's just like the 100-year-old car that's running like a top. Huh. See, you can be a 100-year-old car running like a top if you keep yourself in good repair. So what do you have to do to do that? Well, two things. What, what does a car need to keep itself in good repair? It needs replacement parts. Right. <laughs> and, and then you need some tools to, to work on it. You need a little thing, you know, we go in and take the tires <laughs> off. It goes... Yeah, you know, yeah. change the oil. So right. it, yeah, you need replacement parts and, and oil. Talk about oil, absolutely. Um, we're not doing this. We're eating a diet that will not support human health. The average American diet will not support health in rats. Right. And, and, and we're trying to live on something that won't support health in rats. So um, that's the secret to it all. The human body is a self-repairing system. If you eat a good diet and give it all the repair materials that it needs, it's going to repair. Right. And then if you keep all the repair machinery functioning smoothly, you're going to repair. And you will keep, see, here's the big difference, chronological age, biological age. Mm. The 100-year-old car, 100 years old, but biologically, it's almost like new. Where that old 10-year-old car is only 10 years old, right. but biologically, it's over 100 years old. It's falling apart. So what you're saying, to make it simple, is that lifestyle medicine is what we all should be doing, taking it, care of ourselves. What are some of the other things that are important besides what you eat? Well, uh, what shuts down the metabolic machinery is toxins. Mm, and we're exposed to a ton we're exposed of those. To ton, we're, the average American is in toxic overload. So the three things you have to do. One, you have to learn how to stop putting toxins in. Where are they? Stop putting them in. And something, you know, change your toothpaste brand, change your shampoo brand, simple things, simple things. Don't buy a new carpet. <laughs> or, or, <laughs> or the outgassing, yeah. or a bed that's got all these or gases. Or a bed, yeah, a new mattress, uh, right. you know, standard mattress, uh, outgassing all these toxic chemicals. So um, learn where the toxins are, stop putting them in, um, you could reduce your, your pesticide load by 80% if mm. you stop eating dairy and, and meat, meat that's not organic. Right. So 80% reduction, is that, hey, now I'll it's go for that. Deal. So uh, then you have to support your body's detoxification system. You have to make sure you're giving yourself the nutrients uh -huh. to support the detoxification system. And there, vitamin C is very important. Adequate amounts of vitamin C. Uh, eating vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. These all contain chemicals that support the body's detoxification system. 
And then the third thing you need to do is to get rid of the stored toxins. And for there, taking regular saunas is very important mm -hmm. to get rid of the saunas. stored toxins. Uh -huh. So do these three things. So learn how to eat a better diet. Get the bad stuff out of your diet. Get the sugar out of your diet. You know, get the get the wheat out of your diet. The the processed oils, uh, uh, the dairy. Now talk about oil. You know, you know, if you put the wrong oil in your car, you're going to screw up the engine. Right. Yeah, we put the wrong oil in our body all the time. Uh, we, yes. <laughs> we, ne <laughs> we we never think the, the second thing about it. Right. So we need to learn where the good oils are, what they are, and start putting them into the body. And we all need an oil chain. <laughs> uh, so, well, How about the other lifestyle factors, about the way we use our body and take care of it through exercise and sleep and stress? Right. Well, um, many of us do not get enough sleep. Um, most of us do not get enough exercise. Um, so these factors, too, and I, I cover it all in my book, Never Feel Old Again, the whole chapters on these things to teach you how to maximize your repairs. You see, does, aging is repair deficits. Right. When you say repair deficit, what do you mean? It means a lack of repair. So we don't, we don't let our body repair itself from the toxic exposures and the stresses right. we it, put it through. It's a self-repairing system, but it, it's it's not self-repairing because we don't eat a diet that supports it. And right. and we're loaded with all these toxins that right. shut down the repair machinery. So you can't make things out of nothing. Uh, You've right. got to take in the raw materials <laughs> that you need. It's like a production plant. If you're short something, it making is a, car, a production plant. Right. Yeah. A little microscopic industrial plant so, to sell. But the, the you see the, the 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 bad news is we're all accelerating the aging process. We're measuring. 30-year-olds with the biological markers of 80-year-olds. We're measuring 10-year-olds with the biological markers of 45-year-olds. We're accelerating the aging process. We have to stop doing that. And then we have to promote the repair process. When you do that, you lower your biological age, even though you're getting chronologically older. And, and as you grow older, you'll be like the 100-year-old car. Exactly. So what Raymond is saying is that the buck stops with us. Lifestyle medicine is the future of how we should be taking care of ourselves. And in his book, Never Feel Old Again, you'll learn how never to be sick again. All these things are your responsibility. They're everybody's responsibility. And our healthcare paradigm needs to shift from one that expects, expects us to get sick to one that actually expects us to be healthy because we take care of ourselves. 